Well, good Saturday morning, and it is so good to be anticipating a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ at the Lighthouse Chapel tomorrow. I'd like to just say that if you don't have a church home and in the Kansas City area, you might want to come and pay us a visit tomorrow and worship the risen Lord with us. We're looking forward to an exciting day here at the Lighthouse Chapel. This is Pastor Hayton with the Lord Lights Devotional, and just want to share a little bit about our uh, perspective of Easter. You remember when you were a kid when Easter had a different meaning than what it does? Now that we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ and recognize that uh, Easter is more than just about Easter bunnies and Easter eggs and that type of thing, uh, it's a joyous celebration. Well, I remember as a kid getting drug out of bed early in the morning to go to an Easter sunrise service, and that was something that, you know, was different, and we met with our friends from the church, and, and the little hillside where a cross had been erected, and I remember the days of Easter was just getting up and watching the sun come up, and then, of course, new clothes. I don't think we got new clothes simply because it was Easter time, but you know, it was springtime, and the old winter clothes were being put away. And as children, we'd probably outgrown the clothes that we'd worn the last spring and summer. So I remember oftentimes my mother, maybe late into the night, hear her sewing machine whirling away as she was making uh, new shirts for we boys and making new dresses for my sisters. She was a very industrious lady, and always made our shirts and made the girls dresses and so Easter was a time of getting new clothes and we anticipated the new clothes that we would be wearing on Easter Sunday and then of course the Easter egg hunt I know a lot of people say it has its roots in paganism and we shouldn't do that but it was a big time for us children and we always enjoyed hunting Easter eggs on a Sunday afternoon and Seeing it back in that time, it wasn't the little plastic ones that most of us use today filled with candy. They were actually hard-boiled eggs that had been carefully dyed and decorated the day before. And I remember, you know, we ate just about uh, every egg that we found, and so we'd be full of eggs before the day was over. But uh, that's what Easter was, just a, kind of a fun day. And I do know that uh, dressing up to go to church was exciting, and of course, that wasn't news dressing up to go to church back in my day. Uh, if we were going to go and sit in the presence of Almighty God, of course, we were going to look our best and wear our best. And I still do that today. Call me a little bit old-fashioned. Went to a prayer breakfast, a uh, presidential prayer breakfast a few years ago out in Washington, D.C., and there were thousands of people that was attending that prayer breakfast. We knew that the President of the United States was going to be there in our midst, and even though most of us would not be very close in proximity to him, yet we wore the very best that we had in honor of the President of the United States. And I believe we ought to, in honor of Almighty God, wear the best that we can, whether it be Easter or any other Sunday. But that's neither here nor there, getting off track here on my little soapbox. But I do think, though, that as children, our perspective on Easter was so much different than it is as those of us that know what it really is all about today. We know that Easter is the coming to life of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the importance of the resurrection cannot be overstated. Paul said that if Christ be not rich, and that our faith is in vain, and we are yet in our sins. So we rejoice in the glory of the resurrection of our Lord, and I trust that you will come and worship the Lord with us tomorrow if you don't have a church home. And if you do, be in the place of worship and uh, give praise and honor to the one who raised up his dear son for our salvation. Heavenly Father, thank you for the story of Easter. Thank you, dear Lord, that we can recognize that thou didst come forth out of that grave, saying that because you live, we shall live also. We have a, an abundant life to live, and we have the prospect of eternal life because of a resurrected Christ. Lord, bless us today and bless us in the house of the Lord tomorrow. We ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, we'll see you Monday now on Lord Light's Devotional. 
and hope to see a whole bunch of you tomorrow at the Lighthouse Chapel. Goodbye.